Hello everybody. For those of you who don't know, my name is Tim. This is the first official video for PIT, or Prime Investigation Team. Uh, the first video is actually going to be on Cape Blood, which is a very popular place, very popular paranormal place, and after the research that I have received, I don't really understand how it can be paranormal so much. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to tell you some background information on uh, Katie's parents and then I will tell you some of the information that I received about Katie or Kate and blood as, as most of you know her by. Um, first of all I'm going to just start reading off some of this information and all of this information that I tell you in this video will be underneath the description in the Facebook and YouTube videos so if you want to uh, read along and you, there is even websites that I have in that description that you will have the ability to go to and see the actual research that I received it from. Um, so about her parents, her dad's name was Henry Levake Blood. He was born December 27th of 1813 and died February 21st of 1888. He built the Levake House on College Avenue in Appleton. So that's actually uh, still there. It had a fire uh, years and years ago, but they rebuilt it. Uh, he's actually also responsible for building the first structures in the Lawrence University in, in years, years and years ago. Uh, he was also the first chairman of Grand Chute in Wisconsin. Um, they had had that first meeting April 3rd, 1849, and he was chosen as the first chairman. He also built uh, some of the hotels from here, from Oshkosh to Green Bay. So uh, there's there is some historical residence that uh, actually goes back to Cape Blood. Uh, he married Teresa Southmaid on April 25th of 1838, and she gave birth to a Katie M. Blood, hence Kate M. Blood. He also gave birth to two other ones, um, Egbert and Franklin. No, I don't think I got that right. Uh, Egbert is one of them, and the other one I, I think is Henry as well. I don't remember. I, I have it on my computer. If you guys would like to know, you, it would also be underneath the description. Gave birth to Katie M. Blood on May 4th, 1851. Uh, Kate M. Blood married George M. Miller, May 4th of 1872, and died on December 28th of 1874. Uh, one of the rumors going around about her is that she died by her husband, who actually killed her uh, in a fit of rage after he found out that she was cheating on him with another guy. That is false. She died in Kansas of tuberculosis on her way to Colorado to see some family. She was transported back here to Appleton, Wisconsin to be buried in Riverside Cemetery, which is actually where she's buried now. Um, she did not kill any, any of her family, as well as their children, and they, because her children died many years after, and her husband, George M. Miller, remarried and died 42 years after that. Her funeral was actually inside of a church and many, one of the rumors about her is that she's a witch. However, in that time frame or in that time period, witches were not allowed to have funerals, period, let alone inside of a church. So, However, she was also very popular, which means there's no po no possible way that she could have been a witch. One of the other rumors about her, and this is where it may be paranormal, is that her gravestone bleeds. If you do go to her gravestone, you will see markings on her gravestone of like a lighter red color. It's dry, so there's no wet blood around there. We have not seen the actual gravestone bleed. Me and my team have went there. We have not seen it bleed. At all. We have not felt anything. We haven't felt any uneasiness, any cold spots. 
nothing has been felt there. The gravestone has not bled since we've been there. And we see no reason why this Kate the Blood gravestone should be claimed as paranormal. However, there may be an opportunity on Halloween night or special nights such as her birthday or her death date that there may be a little bit more activity than we have captured. However, we have not gone on those nights, so we cannot claim this as not being paranormal. However, the nights that we have went have not been paranormal. This is just some evidence that we captured, some background information that we have. We'll have all of the background information underneath the description, like I said. Um, now that's all we have for Cape Blood. The next video we're actually working on is actually on Bigfoot. We uh, just finished an interview with two people who have both heard and seen Bigfoot. So we will give you that video as well as uh, another video of of Bigfoot that somebody actually took in 1967. Um, so we will have that as well as a sound recording of a howl supposedly from Bigfoot in the next video. So we can't wait to get that video up and get it to show you guys because we think it's just the video is just awesome. And we think that you guys will enjoy that scene. But uh, I want to thank you guys for paying attention. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing to the YouTube pages. I appreciate everybody sticking along with the page. Can't wait for the next video. Thank you.